welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to show you what is in my portfolio. Um, I am what you call a value investor. So value investing uh, focuses on investing in a quality company that you think is undervalued. You make this decision based on strong fundamental analysis. It's a buy and hold strategy. It pays attention to a market or reaction to current events and to which companies pay dividends. So, for example, the uh, financial crisis in 2008 gave us really good opportunities to buy good companies at a discount. Likewise, the corona uh, crisis has also given us the opportunity to buy quality companies or quality stocks at a discount. So whether or not uh, the market will fall uh, further, it did fall around uh, 32%. And that means that many extremely good companies became really cheap. And it is at these moments that you should take an advantage of the market. So I have always been an admirer of Warren Buffett. He is the uh, most successful value investor in history. And I absolutely love his first rule, which says never lose money. So the entire idea, idea of uh, investing is that you invest in a company that you think will grow in the future, the value of stocks will grow, and therefore your investment will grow. That is the entire idea uh, in investing is not something you go in and just gamble. You look at the company's fundamentals. You uh, estimate whether or not this is a cheap or uh, uh, expensive stock, and then you take a decision. And in moments of crises like this one, it gives us a very good opportunity to buy very cheap stock. So. The idea is to buy quality stock at a discount. And also, it is has to be a stock that gives uh, dividends. That basically means that if you invest in a stock, that for every share that you have, you'll basically get an amount of money every, uh, every quarter, half a year, or annually, and so on. So... In this financial, uh, this uh, Corona crisis, I basically picked uh, five stocks to add to my portfolio. So, in my portfolio now, I have with uh, thirty one point two percent is the company that I regard as one of the greatest companies in the world, and that is Apple. Um, everybody loves the Apple product whether or not it is the phone or is the iPad, the computers or the iWatch uh, and so on. We basically, every time Apple uh, launches a new product, people basically stand outside for hours, even days, in order to get their hands on this new product. And Apple has an amazing balance sheet. They have a ton of money. This is not a company that will go bankrupt anytime soon. And it's also a company that bounces really uh, fast uh, when um, a crisis hits. Uh, for instance, the value of Apple stock now is almost at the same level prior to the corona crisis. So the next stock in my portfolio with 27.8% uh, is Microsoft. So, like Apple, Microsoft has an amazing balance sheet. It is a company that owns a big part of its uh, market. And, and because people have been staying at home, working and so on, they have, their product has been on high demand. So, uh, Microsoft is also at, almost at the same level as prior to the corona crisis. Third, with 16.4%, is waste management. Well, 
I absolutely love this company. And one of the reasons is that even though times are really bad or times are really good, we will always consume. And consumption creates waste and therefore waste management, which basically is in this uh, business, will always have a profitable business. So their stock fell around 30-35% due to the corona crisis, due to the lockdown. Uh, it has increased around 15% since. And uh, and this I imagine this stock will, uh, will explode as soon as uh, restrictions on the economy uh, are, 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 are relieved. And this stock will most likely double within one or two years. So this is a fantastic stock to buy and just to hold. And number four, that is Bank of America. So with 16.4%, um, Bank of America, the reason why I bought the stock is because this is the preferred bank of most young people in America. And the thing with bank is, banks is that when you choose a bank as a young person, as a kid or a teenager and so on, you tend to stick with that bank forever. So if this is the preferred uh, bank of most uh, young people in America, then this is also going to be the bank that is going to prosper the most in the future. Uh, so this is also a bank that it gives a dividends and is very has a very good balance sheet and this is going to be uh, a very good investment in the future. And last but not least, with eight point two percent, that is Coca Cola. So Warren Buffett says that he would never ever ever sell a single stock of Coca Cola, and. The reason why he bought Coca-Cola is that when he was a kid, he used to collect uh, bottles uh, of Coca-Cola and, and, and so, so on. And he always found out that there were more uh, caps of Coca-Cola than any other soft drink uh, that he could collect. And he invested in heavily in Coca-Cola, I think it was in the end of in, in the 1980s. And this is basically one of his most beloved stock. And it is perfectly understandable because this is probably the most famous soft drink uh, there is in the world. It is technically everywhere, in every restaurant, in every uh, cinema, in uh, people just love Coca-Cola. And they will buy Coca-Cola in good times and in bad times. So the Coca-Cola stock it fell around uh, 35%. And it has increased around 10-15% uh, since uh, uh, the corona crisis. But the single thing with all these uh, companies are that these are all very good companies. They have amazing balance sheets. They have gone through several crises in the past. So their experience in this field. And that is also something that counts significantly. Furthermore, these are dividends giants. No matter what, these companies will pay their dividends because they have a lot of cash. They are uh, liquidity is very good in these companies. And no matter what, if you are in good times or bad times, these companies will most likely pay dividends and they will not slash their dividends. And that is the reason why I do not invest, for example, in airline stocks at the moment. I do not invest in hotel stocks or restaurants or in cruise line stocks because these companies are in a very bad condition at the moment. Uh, most of them, for example, the cruise liners, they are burning around $1 billion a month. And the airlines, they will have to um, increase their debt around 10 to 12 billion dollars uh, in the in the future and that means that their profits their future profits will basically go to uh, paying back this debt 
and therefore they will not have money in order to pay dividends and they will not have enough cash in order to buy back their stock. So their stock will be uh, substantially lower for a very, very long time. They are uh, very volatile, which makes it pretty good for day traders, but it's horrible for value investors. And that is probably also one of the reasons why Warren Buffett basically sold all his airline stock. People should pay attention what he does, what he buys, and so on, uh, because he has an amazing track record. So I hope you find this video uh, helpful and interesting. If you do, you're welcome to sub subscribe to our channel and click the bell button. Um, I usually make investments uh, once a month and I will basically do a video of uh, every single company that I have invested in and why I have invested in that company. Thank you very much.